This is Narahari sir from King's International Medical Academy, Department of Physics. Now we will discuss about river boat concept. It is a basic concept. In a neat level, it is a more useful how to solve the problems based upon river boat content. So, number one, point number one is a boat. If a boat is a travels, boat is a travels parallel to bank of river. See that the boat is travels parallel to bank of river. In that situation, we can take imagine it is a boat now. It is a boat. Here water is there. Water has some velocity, so that is considered as a VW bar. And boat has some velocity that is taken as a VB bar. Don't confuse with the content here. V bar, VW bar means velocity of water here. And VB means velocity of boat. According to relative velocity content, so VBW, VBW we can consider VB, VBW bar, VB bar minus VW bar. That's a VV bar. That means relative velocity of boat with respect to water, which is considered VV bar minus VW bar. But here, boat is traveling parallel to bank of river means we can take this formula is VVW bar could be taken as it is VV bar plus VW bar. So, according to speed formula, we can take speed which is considered as a speed equal to distance by time. So, now so, speed is taken as that is VB bar plus VW bar then D by T. From this we get T could be taken as D by VB bar plus VW bar. And it is a very simple formula we can use to find the time period to cross the river. That means both these travels parallel to the bank of river. Find the time period means we can use that formula T equal to D by VB bar plus VW bar. So now, in second condition, we can take condition number two. In case of time taken is taken as d by v b bar minus v w bar. When we take this one means in opposite direction. So in opposite direction means, for example, it is a point, it is a b point, it is a, it is a b. Both travels a to b means we can take this formula. It is for the a to b and. Uh, Boat travels B to A, B to A condition, we can take this formula, it is a B to A condition, B to A. In this to concept, total time period which is taken as, it is taken as a T2, it is taken as a T1, that is a T1 plus T2. And here one more highlight point here, T1 means that is in uh, downstream, here T1 is taken as, T1 is taken as, it is a downstream concept, downstream means boat travels a to b and the next one is upstream it is content belongs to upstream upstream means boat travels from b to a so that we get t1 plus t2 finally we get t1 is taken as d by vb bar plus vw bar and plus and t2 which is considered d by vb bar minus vw bar so finally we get it is if you take a d is a common factor we get a 2 v b bar by v b bar square minus v w bar square say that it is a total time period formula according to boat is parallel to bank of river bank of river could be taken as flow of water don't confuse with the content here very very important topic according to neat level See, two concepts are there. One is uh, boat is travels A to B. We get the time period is D by VB bar plus VW. That is the downstream. And second content is boat is travels B to A. That is in upstream. Then total time period, 
time period which is considered t is taken as d into 2 vb bar by vb bar whole square minus vw bar whole square at the same time here if in case of velocity of boat is greater than much greater than vw bar so that means velocity of water is less than velocity of boat then time period could be taken as d into 2 vb bar by then we get vb bar whole square minus 0 why because it is lesser than boat velocity that's why then finally we get 2d vb bar by vb bar whole square square vb bar cancel then finally we get it is a 2d by vb it's a formula very very important formula we can calculate the time period in case of water flows lesser than boat velocity it is a more helpful for the need to contain very very important content in a vector chapter is a third chapter the as per plus 1 in a vector chapter it is a very very important topic based upon relative velocity content so i hope you you can understand very clear thank you